Hi, welcome back to the channel. Um, <laughs> I know it's been a minute, as always, I do this once in a while. Um, but yeah, we're back. I mean, Manchester United's 2024-25 uh, season starts tomorrow. That's a bit of a pre-season game. Of course, I want United to win that game. Um, I'm going to be doing a, a match reaction, obviously, after the game tomorrow. And I'm hoping we win, but as always, when it comes to the match previews, especially the big games, I prefer to go through Tenard's press conference before we actually go through uh, my thoughts as to what I think is going to happen in the game tomorrow. So, yeah, I mean, when it came to, to, to Tenard's press conference, he was asked a few questions which I found to be quite good. Um, others were a bit ridiculous, to be honest, just nonsensical questions. Um, but for starters, um, Tenag was asked an update when it comes to the injured players, you know. And then what Tenag basically said that apparently Harry Maguire is a doubt for tomorrow's game. Um, so is Victor Lindelof, as well as Luke Shaw and Aaron Wan Bissaka. Apparently, those four players are a big doubt for tomorrow's game. Um, the press conference, I believe, was done. Um, yesterday on Thursday and he basically said that at the time which was on Thursday the players weren't looking like they were gonna make the final on time you know so for me it's a situation whereby when it comes to Maguire I'm, I'm frustrated he's injured because he's been injured for lots of, of the past season that's why he couldn't even go to the Euros but then on the other hand you've got someone like Flippin Lucho who's been injured for Man United since February 2020 uh, a four, but somehow was fit enough to go play for England in the Euros. You know what I'm saying? Like, this guy was injured for us and was unavailable due to an injury. However, he's fit enough to go play for England in the Euros. Okay, as if that's not bad enough. We're just asking him to remain fit and. Oh shit, is that a fire or something? It looks like there's a fire on the other side of the road. Anyways, um. But yeah, as I was saying, um, Luke Shaw is a disgrace because when it comes to Man United, he seems to just pick up these in injuries and in niggles and things like that. But when it's time to play for England, he's fit, which I, I don't understand. I, I genuinely don't understand. Maybe I'm wrong, but for me, I would have thought he would prioritize playing for Man United than he would for playing for England. Maybe that's just how I think. Maybe everyone agrees with me however he's injured again i mean it's getting ridiculous at this point if it's not getting it's, it's being ridiculous when you guys are sure i believe this is someone we should have gotten rid of long time ago ages ago he's proven to us time and time again that yes he's a good fullback very good fullback however it's not like he's flipping prime roberto carlos or prime ashley cole he's a good left back yes i get it but that doesn't mean that we must treat him like he's this world-class player, because he's not. If anything, I think as Man United fans, we've gotten, we've probably had like two or three seasons at best, which are, I'd be like top, top, top level, where he was right at the top of his game. We've probably had two or three games from Luke Shaw. But anyways, he's injured again, and he's someone I, I firmly believe needs to be sold, honestly. I think Shaw needs to be sold and needs to keep it moving. But anyways, it is what it is. You know, it's enough to talk about Luke Shaw. Let's keep it moving. Um, Aaron Ambisaka is apparently also injured, which this one I'm kind of blaming Tenag because apparently there were rumors that Bisaka wasn't exactly 100% fit. And everybody knows when you're trying to sell Aaron Ambisaka. But yet, in the last preseason game against was it Liverpool, where we got beaten 3 0. He played him for most of the game. It's for about 80 minutes, played him. What the hell are you doing? Now he's injured. This puts his transfer in jeopardy. We might not sell Aaron Ambisaka because of what injured flipping the preseason game which meant nothing you know but yeah anyways those are the injury updates Maguire Shaw uh, Bisaka and, and, and um, Lindelof are all down to tomorrow's game we'll see what happens uh, but moving on Tenag was also asked um, what about the players who are not involved in preseason is, is there any way in which uh, is he worried about how they're going to gel with the team and they're going to be ready for the season and he basically said that uh, the players, each player has been given an individual program 
whereby they'll basically be working on it by themselves, even though they're on off season, but just stay a bit fit, you know. So, yeah, that's that. Um, what else was it asked? Mason Mount. This for me was a good question. He was asked, What do you expect from Mason Mount this coming season? And to be honest, I thought he answered it as honestly as he possibly could. Um, he basically said that Mason Mount was mostly injured last season, which basically meant that last season was a very bad season for Mason Mount. It was a terrible season, the season uh, hampered with injuries, you know. So he couldn't show his best capabilities. And he, he said that this season, though, from what they've seen so far in, 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 in what you call in the preseason tour, um, they said that they felt he was, was very good. He's looked sharp, he's looked bright. He's looked like the player who we signed from Chelsea, you know. So it seems like it's promising with Mason Mount. Maybe, hopefully, he actually turns up for us this season and plays well. Um, I myself was a big doubt of his, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping he proves me wrong because I think he's a bit of a decent player. I don't think he's like a top, top, top class. I think he's, just, he's, he's a good player. It's all right, but it's not like world class or top, top class. But I'd like for him to come good at United, obviously, as a main United player. Um, but anyways, keeping it moving from Mount, what else was he asked? Um, he was asked uh, with regards to a centre midfielder, um, have you identified any, 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 any targets? That's the that that is, by the way. So I was asked if you've if, 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 if identified uh, a potential central midfielder to sign or defensive midfielder to sign. Um, he was asked if, if, if he's identified any midfielder to sign. And he basically said that... Uh, <laughs> He's not gonna share, um, you know, the typical. I'm gonna keep, keep keeping your, club, your your cards close to your chest, you know. So he said he's not gonna share such info with the media. Uh, all he'll say is that we need to be a bit patient. They're working on things and they've got their strategy. He's very happy with the with the transfer window so far. We've already done our business. He even went as far as saying that Man United have got a very good squad and they've, they've got basically two players. In each and every position, I'm just like, <laughs> come on, Tana, you're lying, yeah. But I get what he's doing. I mean, what else do you expect him to see? To come out and see my players are shit. It doesn't work like that. He's not going to say that. He's going to come out and say, no, my players are good. I've got a good squad. I'm looking forward to the season. But of course, we all know that's just lip service, you know, playing to the gallery and all that. So I get it. Uh, but yeah, man, that was basically Tana's press conference. Um, I don't know if I'm forgetting anything else which is important. Um, with regards to the conference, uh, press conference, just didn't mention. Uh, he was asked about Lisandro Martinez. Is he going to be fit and ready to go this season? Again, he said it has a very important part, a uh, very important, important player for the squad, and it plays a big part in how the team performs. You know, so we're looking forward to Lisha coming back. I believe he speaks. When, when he said that, I was like, you know, he's right. He speaks for all Man United fans. Really, we want Lisha to come back as soon as possible and basically help us play well. But yeah, unless if I'm forgetting something, which I probably am, um, I think I covered all the important questions with regards to the, the press conference, so quite happy with that. Uh, but anyways, moving on to tomorrow's game, it's a community shield. It's not that big a game, guys, it's just a community shield. It's basically another pre-season game. For us, it's our last pre-season fixture. Um, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping we do well. I'm not expecting us to win, um, but then again, at the same time, it's a one-off game. City haven't been brilliant in pre-season. We haven't been brilliant, but it's that's that's all there is to it. It's just pre-season, you know. It's not that big a deal. So, of course, I'd like for us to win, and I'd like to think Man United fans by now know the drill. If we win the game tomorrow, it's simple. The Community Shield is basically the new Champions League. <laughs> but if we lose it. This is a pre-season friendly and nobody cares about it, you know. So, tomorrow for me personally, it's just about the performance. Um, I mean, we're playing Man City, so I say it's about the performance, but we're playing Man City, so I don't know if <laughs> we're going to perform well, you know. We know City are the best side in, in England, basically. So, I don't know if going into that game, and it's, you can, I don't know if you can realistically expect Man United to outperform Man City. You know, so I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But um, anyways, I'm expecting. What do I expect from tomorrow? I, I think it's, I don't even know what to expect tomorrow. You know, it's a it's a preseason game, like I would say. But I genuinely don't know what to expect. Like, <laughs> it could go either way. Either way it could go. We could win. We could lose. It, either way it could go. So for me, I'm just gonna predict a. Still preseason. I'm gonna predict a 2-1. I'm gonna be 
positive with the same way. I want, I'm, I want to try to be positive. I'm going to predict a 2 1 win for Man United. And uh, hope, I hope we actually win now that I've gone ahead and put my head on the chopping block. Uh, chopping block. Um, yeah, I'm going to predict a 2 1 win for Man United. 50% um, because I think anything can happen in the final. Um, and the other 50% is because I'm a United fan. Um, my city might be the big fan, city are definitely the better side, but I'm going to predict my team to win, man. I'm going to predict my team to win, so yeah, I'm going to predict a 2-1 win for Man United. Um, how we'll play, I think we'll get dominated as always by Man City. Um, I, expect them, I expect them to have a large share of the ball. Um, I, I unfortunately didn't get to watch the pre-season games, uh, but yeah, apparently we'll, our style has somewhat improved. Uh, even though it's not been throughout the entire 90 minutes, apparently we play good in like the first half or just play good in the second half. But yeah, so hopefully this season we see more good football being played by Manchester United. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking forward to the season. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not yet because of the, the side or the lack of signings and the lack of, uh, of outgoings. I'm, I'm a bit worried about the upcoming season, but let's park that for now. Just for tomorrow. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I want to see how we play. Um, I haven't seen Man United play football in a while. So hopefully United do me proud tomorrow with Big Man City by two goals to one. Um, as for the goal scorers, I'm going to predict, I don't know, Joshua Zegzi to get one. Probably gets a goal. And who else gets a goal? Ahmad Diallo is another one who could maybe get a goal. I know Zegzi is not much of a goal scorer, but more of a uh, false nine, more of a creator. So I can see Zuzi exactly basically getting involved in either with getting a goal or an assist. But goal scorer, I can definitely see Amadiallo scoring. Uh, I see definitely tomorrow, probably as a stick and I'm going just giving him the curse. Uh, but yeah, I can see us winning to one with Ahmed scoring a goal. Zuzi will either get a goal or an assist. And yeah, I think I think Zuzi will get an assist. Ahmed might, might score one and the other goal might be scored by in Mason Mount, who knows? As for the predicted lineups, I'm not going to be bother doing that. I mean, it's pre season, I don't even know which players are fully fit, which ones aren't, so there's no point doing a uh, combined 11 or predicted 11 for tomorrow's game. Let's just watch the game and hope United do us well tomorrow. But yeah, come on, the Red Devils, and uh, yeah, like I said, I'm predicting a 2 1 win for United. So yeah, that brings me to the end of the video. So if you like the video, please hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section what you thought. Do you think I'm wrong with my prediction? Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think the chair gonna hammer us? Do you think I don't know? Let me know. Just let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, please like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. That's very important. And I will see you guys soon. Peace.